Higgsfield just released Popcorn, which they are claiming is the next nano banana killer. Higgsfield claims that Popcorn is better when it comes to character consistency, setting coherence, and even excels when it comes to multi-image prompts. But that's not even Popcorn's real selling point. The real selling point is its storyboard functionality. You can feed it one image, one prompt, and get back up to seven images, all of which are a little bit different and act as scenes for your story. But are these claims true and how useful is this tool really? Because as fun as it is to switch the faces of different Hollywood actors in these famous films, does any of that really move the needle for you? If you're an entrepreneur who wants to know, can I use this to help me with marketing? But luckily for you, we're gonna be looking at this tool from a marketing perspective. Can we use Popcorn to quickly, cheaply, and effectively create high quality marketing content? Can I give this model an image of my product and have it create both stills and starting frames for videos that I can turn around and actually sell to people? That is the sort of question that's actually worth answering and it's what we are gonna dive into today. So let's get started. Here we are inside of Higgsfield Popcorn. Now, what is Higgsfield? What is Popcorn? Higgsfield is a web app that acts as an aggregator for all these AI content creation applications. Think of Sora, think of One 2.5, VO3, Dream. all that is here. Okay, Higgsfield is the one-stop shop for all these things, and Popcorn is their proprietary AI image generator. So if you go inside of Higgsfield, I have a link down below, you head to Popcorn, you'll get to this page, and it looks like any other image generator at first. Down here at the bottom, we have our place for our prompt, and if you click the button here, the little plus button, that's where you're able to insert your images that you can either edit or essentially iterate off of. So like I alluded to in the intro, I think the real selling point for Popcorn is the storyboard functionality. And so the way it works is I add an original reference image. In this case, I pulled this from Mid Journey. It's essentially like a fashion model, right? And let's say I was trying to come up with content ideas using this model. Well, if I was using Nano Banana or Sea Dream or anything else, I would take the same reference image and I would give it a new prompt for each different scene I wanted to. Like, okay, I want you to do a scene where she's drinking the coffee. I want a scene now where she's inside the coffee shop. I want a scene where she's doing a photo shoot, right? That would have to be done one by one, manually, and somewhat laboriously. Popcorn allows me to do all that iteration in one go, and there's two ways to do it. The first one is manual. Now you have eight images total that you can play with, which means if I add one reference image, I can get seven outputs. If I added four reference images, I could get up to four outputs, right? So you're stuck with the eight. Now I can manually type in what I want to happen for each photo, okay? Or I can have that automatically happen and just go to auto and I can just describe what I want in general terms. So in the auto, I'm just saying create a full photo shoot with the model in several different locations. So here's what the output looks like. The first image, she's just kind of staring off the space. So it's a small change from the original, but the rest, we do get a big change in the settings, right? We're at the crosswalk. This even has some sort of motion blur. She's on the beach, she's at the subway. You know, her twin showed up in this one, right? Um, this might seem like, oh, what's the big deal? But if you've worked with AI content creation at all, this is actually a huge deal because this allows us to have some speed when we actually start trying to create these assets. The thing that takes the most time when you're creating any sort of AI marketing material is the original image. Whether you're gonna take that first image and just keep it as a still and use that as marketing material itself, or take that first image and turn it into a video, this starting image has to be good. If it's not good, everything falls apart. And to make it good, oftentimes you have to take this original image and if, let's say you're Nano Banana, do prompt A, prompt B, prompt C, rerun it, rerun it, rerun it. It takes a long time for you to be able to see, you know, a hundred different versions of what you think you might want to use. This speeds up that creative process tremendously, which can't be understated. And like I said before, we just gave it a single prompt. We could have gone ahead and give it a specific prompt for all seven. And it's really easy to do that. I would suggest going to something like Claude and being like, hey, Here's the starting image. Give me seven different scene descriptions for this model, and then you could just copy paste them in here. So you've seen Popcorn in action. Now let's use an actual product and compare it to Nano Banana and Sea Dream and see how each of them do. Does Popcorn live up to the hype? Now for the product, we're gonna be using this, which is Max Gummies. It's a creatine gummy company I actually created with my brother recently. And we're right now in the process of trying to create marketing material using AI. And so I think it's a great case study because I think a lot of people watching this are in the same place, right? You're an entrepreneur, you're a small business, you wanna use AI to help with marketing and keep costs low, but is it gonna be effective? Are these gonna be legit? Can you use it? And I think this is a good one because, hey, this packaging, this isn't out in the world all over the place. I'm not doing examples with Coca-Cola, 
you know, where it's seen it 10 billion times, it know, knows what it should look like. It's never seen this before. Further, it's kind of difficult, right? Lots of little text, lots of little icons. How is that gonna translate in the AI editing process? Let's see. So here's the prompt I gave Popcorn. I said, create a hyper-realistic image, make it UGC content, change the background to a gym. And I gave it the image you just saw and also this image, right? Taken from my actual kitchen. And here are the images that gave us. Remember, I gave it two reference images. So at most, it could only give me six in one run. So we see it right on a bench. We see kind of a macro shot. Now the macro shot will be interesting because how does the text look? Dietary supplement looks okay, gummies. It's kind of like bent and crinkled, but the big text it gets right. This is harder to see, but it's, I would say it's good enough right? Like your eye kind of just glances over it. Like if you saw something like this on an Amazon storefront, would you think twice? Probably not. Right. We got this here. You can see kind of like creatine powder. And again, I think the best part about this is, is the fact that I see so many options, right? Because I can look at one of these and then start iterating off of it. Down here, you can see the same prompt, but we said to do it in a kitchen. Um, some of these are okay, right? This added a new sticker. The text isn't great here. This image looks a little flat. Um, this randomly has it inside of the sink <laughs> for whatever reason, but overall solid. My mind isn't blown on these kitchen ones. I do like the gym ones a little bit better, especially with some of the lighting, like, you know, almost like the smoky deal they got going on here. And so here's the same prompt UGC kitchen shots from Seed Dream. These four are Seed Dream. Again, I'm inside of Higgsfield here. So not bad. I think the quality actually looks a little bit higher. Um, like this crinkle thing does a pretty good job. And if we zoom in, the text is decent at the start and then it kind of falls apart halfway through. Um, you know, that's kind of the problem if you try to do a really high quality, high fidelity image with a lot of small text, that can kind of pop out. They actually added a, a person in this one, um, but all these are decent. Now, right away, Sea Dream versus um, Popcorn. I, I think the quality is kind of just pretty much the same. You could kind of go either way. I feel like you're splitting hairs there. So I, I wouldn't say popcorn's like blowing them out of the water. And then up here is Nano Banana. Now let's take a closer look at this one and look at the text. The text, and Nano Banana is the best at them when it comes to text, and even it struggles with the small text you see here. It gets the big stuff right. But you will notice, same thing with Nano Banana as you see down here. They're all kind of samey, right? on the kitchen counter this has like the hand like sea dream mixes it up a little bit more but nano banana especially is like very similar right like pretty clear shot of the image on a counter blurred background they're all the same and you compare that with popcorn and you see you're getting a bit more variety right they're not all the same kitchen shot they're not all the same gym shot and even more i have the ability to go into manual and like really specify what i want to see and I did some more testing up here. And I will say when it comes to popcorn, it can struggle with the text, right? It did a decent job with the Mac stuff, but look at this, you know, the watch, like, what is that? What is the text on here? That stuff can get incoherent very quickly. I noticed that um, similar, similarly with Sea Dream, like a Nano Banana does a pretty good job with text in my experience. But that kind of brings me back to my original point, which is like, what is popcorn really buying us? Because let's be honest, quality here, quality there, quality here, like it's all pretty much the same, right? I'm not blown away by like the shot versus shot quality of popcorn versus sea dream versus nano banana. They're all, they're all pretty much there, which then it's like, okay, like why, why would I choose one or the other? And I think it comes to the storyboard thing, the ability to do great variety at scale at speed. So with all that being said, what are my final thoughts on popcorn? Well, here's what I think. I think if you compare image to image, nano banana to sea dream, to popcorn, I can't really tell the difference. I'll be honest with you. I think they're all solid. I think these are all neck and neck. And if you choose one or the other, you're really down to personal preference, right? We're splitting hairs. Big picture though, the storyboard thing is really nice. So if you had to choose like one thing to use, I would probably use popcorn because of this, right? It's just gonna make it easier for me to create images at scale and choose one that I like to actually create marketing material down the line. Is that worth it for you? That's something only you can answer, right? If you're just trying to make one-off images, then it's probably just like a toss-up. Like you don't really care about the storyboard thing. But if you're someone who's really like into AI marketing, I think there's a ton of value here, right? And the value isn't like, oh, it's just a little bit better at character consistency. Like, is it though? Is it? Mm, 
I don't know. I think you could prompt your way to pretty much anything with all three. So it comes down to sort of the output infrastructure that popcorn gives you that these don't. And also remember, I'm doing this inside of Higgs field, which means I can spin up Seed Dream and have it spit out four at a time, right? Same thing with Nano Banana. If I'm on Gemini, that's a little bit harder. So that's another thing to consider. So overall, solid product, really like it. Hope it continues to get better. And I think it's just a good thing for the AI community that there continues to be competition like this, right? We don't want to be stuck with just one competitor, two competitor. Keep them coming, right? It makes everyone better and it usually drops prices for us. So you know, definitely check it out. I'm pretty sure Higgs Field um, is allowing you to do it for free. Again, link down below, see how it works for you. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys around.